Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing very well. Today I'm sharing with you a very quick and easy recipe for a chicken curry. So for this, I've got some frozen chicken breast strips um, and then I'm also gonna put in some mushrooms, some peppers. I've got one onion to chop up. Um, I'm also gonna put some frozen peas in. Um, and then for the sauce, I'm going to use one of these tikka masala paste pots with some coconut milk, some tomato puree. And I've just realized actually I haven't got out the tomato. So you can either put a tin of chopped tomatoes or some tomato passata. Um, you don't need a lot, but I've just realized I haven't got it out. Um, and then I'm also gonna put in some garlic granules. Normally I would use fresh garlic, but I don't have any in at the minute, so I'm just going to pop in some dried garlic. And then I'm going to serve it with some basmati white rice. This is just the boiled in the bag rice. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm using. I started by chopping up one onion, some peppers and also some mushrooms. boil in the bag rice to serve with this so I just put in two bags to serve four people into some water and then I'm going to bring that to the boil in a frying pan I then added in my onion with some olive oil and just started cooking this through once this had cooked through slightly I added in my frozen chicken strips you don't have to use frozen chicken for this you could use fresh chicken um, but I just had some frozen strips in the freezer, so I wanted to use them up. I cooked the chicken and the onions through for a few minutes. I then added in the peppers and also the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I added in a sprinkling of the garlic granules. You can use fresh garlic, um, but again, I had dried ones in the cupboard, so I have used those. And obviously it depends how much you put in for kind of personal preference on flavor. But yeah, I gave it a good sprinkle. I did also add a little bit more olive oil in just to cook this all through. Once that is all cooked and the peppers have started to soften, it is time to add in the tikka masala sauce. So I use one of these little pots. I find these so good. They're honestly, they give so much flavor. So I literally just emptied in the whole pot and then it says to fill the pot with water and add that in also. So I did that and then I just let it simmer for a little while. have let that simmer for a couple of minutes I add in the peas gave that a stir and then I also put in some tomato puree I would say you need about a tablespoon of this but I wasn't too precise in the measure I just gave it a really good squeeze gave that a stir and then you need to add in some chopped tomatoes so you can use chopped tomatoes or you can use tomato passata so I just put one tin of chopped tomatoes in. I then added in some coconut milk. So you can use coconut milk or double cream for this. And it, you need about 75 millilitres. But again, I didn't really measure. I just poured in a little bit, gave it a stir. Um, and yeah. to let it simmer for a few more minutes then it is all ready to serve with the rice so here is my chicken curry i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please like comment below subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you in my next video goodbye everyone